Are you a fan of video games? Do you enjoy half thought out battle plans? Are you a fucking moron? Well, then you're in the right place. Grab a controller and watch your back because the team killing glitch tards have just entered the chat. It's a background song. If yo, put, yo, if yo. You ever put things out. What? If you ever put things out. Bullshit, I did put it out. Anyways, welcome everyone to the Why team you? killing glitch tards. What'd you say? Why you? Shouldn't he be putting it out? Well, we're his distributor. Like, what's our job? Where's record label? Like, that's our job. Game Rage record label. Yeah, full can't offer one fuck. Can't fucking finish one fucking. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Listen, he's busy. All right. Like, I've been on his ass. He's, he was he was working on his next album, and he is now. He told me. He said, "Hey, you know what? I feel really bad about not getting the anime syndicate thing done. I want it to be perfect. I want it to be the best, and I want to give like at least three options." Of the same variation for a new intro for that is what he told me and I said okay but he told me this week he's like hey I'm dropping everything next week and I'm gonna get that done next week so we'll see what does that even mean what does that even mean fuck you fuck you <laughs> why does it have to have the nail that's what that, anyways welcome to team killing glitch charge this is the video game podcast and today we're gonna be talking about halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST now you may be telling yourself oh well you guys just fucking talked about it last episode yeah Kind of, but we primarily talked about multiplayer. We didn't even really talk about the goddamn single player of the game, which is like the most epic part of the fucking games. Um, so we're going to get into that today. But before we do, if you want to listen to all of our other podcasts, you go to GameRageMagazine.com. You can follow us on Instagram and TikTok at GameRageMagazine, Twitter slash X at GameRageMag. You can go to YouTube, 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 and download or watch and listen to all of our fucking episodes and podcasts that we have. Just do Game Rage Magazine on there. Furthermore, you can go to, if you like anime, you can go to anime underscore syndicate underscore podcast and follow Frank there. And also go listen to the Anime Syndicate podcast. Additionally, if you like music, you can go follow Adam on Instagram at All Gas No Trash Official. And you can go follow the, or listen to the All Gas No Trash podcast. All right. Now that that's out of the way, Halo 3, single player. Halo 3 single player is, is to me, was one of the most epic fucking campaigns. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't just the story. It wasn't just us, quote unquote, finishing the fight, which, by the way, that ad campaign for fucking Halo 3 is one of the best. Mm -hmm. It is one of the best. What was it called? Monuments of Sin or something? The fucking 3D model thing they yeah, made? Yeah, that they did. And then at the end, the Master Chief moves like, and, and looks up with the grenade. That was the coolest fucking shit ever. I believe I still have that video on my Xbox in my account somewhere. But, fuck, do you remember? What was that thing called? What? Halo Waypoint. Yeah, Waypoint, man. Yeah. Yeah, Halo Waypoint. <laughs> that was cool back in the day. Um, but, um... <sighs> Uh, this YouTuber, right? everybody knows him, John Tron. Uh-huh. He was making a, a list of like top ten uh, video game commercials. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but I think number one was the Halo Three campaign. Yeah, and he was even he was talking about how much he fucking loved the fucking everything about it. Yeah, and then he was saying, and the funny thing is, I'm not even a Halo fan. Damn, he's like, <laughs> that's how good it was. Yeah. It, it got people who were not even Halo fans thinking this is fucking awesome. It was a masterpiece to a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. And, like, the live action stuff that they did for Halo 3, like, the commercial stuff was... Uh, I just wish they would have done that, that with the instead show, of man. The shit that was Halo, the show. Because that, that was fucking garbage. And honestly, like... I'm glad it's dead. Yeah, so am I. I'm kind of... Like, I kind of am thinking... That on Game Rage movies and TV, we watch that show and just so we can rip it fucking apart. It's two seasons. Now that it's, it's all now garbage. That it's dead. Yeah. Maybe because um, I didn't want to support it. Yeah, neither do I, but it's dead. So now it's like it doesn't matter if we watch it yeah. or not. Um, so I kind of feel like that this is an opportunity to shred I, it to pieces. I, I told Ruben's dad, dude, like, 
I honestly feel that if I start watching it, yeah, it, I might actually legitimately rage quit. Like I feel like, like rage quit watching the show. Yeah, like. Yeah, that'd also be funny if we did. <laughs> if we started it and got like halfway through and we're like, nope. Or I guess I mean, in, I, this, in this situation, I would have to pull a Josh. Yeah, basically. Um, I mean, because I mean, I watched, I think, the first episode or the first two episodes, maybe. And I'm just, that's what I, I rage quit just off of that when it first came out. But, anyways, I digress. Maybe stay tuned on Game Rage Movies and TV because we might be doing that soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Halo 3. Was a fucking it. It was epic, man. The scale of the campaign was epic. I mean, going and rescuing Cortana, like from the grave mine or whatever, man. That was oh, that shit was so cool. The Arbiter fucking teams up with you to take down the fucking Covenant mm-hmm. and the Arbiter, man. It's like that game had like everything, man. It had everything. It was perfect in every way, almost. Mm-hmm. And, like, to me, Halo 3 was a 10 out of 10, man. Like, that game itself. 10 out of 10. I fucking loved it. Also, the co- Like, you could... Because, again, you could co-op with your friends. Mm -hmm. You could fucking... You could play the campaign co-op. Like, that was fucking cool, man. Like, I know there were a lot of... There were other games that also did that. But it was cool to be able to do it with Halo, man. Like, it was cool to be able to do it. And... Um, I don't know. What did you What did you think of? Did you play Halo? You played Halo Three, right, Ruben? Oh, uh, on the anniversary, on anniversary edition, yes. Okay, I mean that's still playing the game though, because I mean yeah. it's the same, you know, fucking thing. Um, and, and also speaking back to the, the co op, um, I also like how it made uh, uh, each player was different instead of like all just Master Chiefs like in Halo One or Two. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like the second player would just be the arbiter, while the other ones were just like random elites. <laughs> yeah, which was kind of cool. Like that was that was kind of a cool. Um, it was kind of like a cool little thing that they had. Um, I uh, <clears throat> getting into um, you know ODST. Uh, I ODST was kind of like the last bastion or the last hurrah of an ex- of expansion packs, in my opinion, <laughs> because it wasn't a proper sequel. It wasn't a proper. I mean, it was a standalone game. It was a standalone game, and it did innovate new things, but it was still branded Halo 3, right? Yeah. Because it was Halo 3 ODST. And it was, if I remember correctly, it was a shorter campaign. Yeah, the cam- it wasn't like a full-blown Halo 3 campaign. Now, was this the first time that we saw... Um, can I, remember, I can't remember if it was the first... If we did this first in Gears of War 2 or ODST... Uh, I think in ODST it was called Firefight. Yeah. And then in Gears of War 2, Horde mode. Horde mode, yeah. Um, so Halo 3 ODST came out on September 22nd, 2009. And I think, was it was it Gears 2 that introduced that or was it Gears 3? I think it was, it's either 2 or 3, I can't remember uh, which one. First Gears game with Horde. Horde mode. Okay, so the first Gears game was Gears of War 2, okay, with the Horde mode. So Gears of War 2. Gears of War 2 came out on November 7th, 2008. So it only came out a few months before, well, maybe like a year because it was September. So Gears of War 2 came out like a year before. So Gears of War 2 did start that kind of kind of thing uh, with like the Horde mode. Oh, oh. What is that? Oh, was it Cooper? Yeah, he pushed the bike. Dickhead. Um, <laughs> Stop being a dickhead, dickhead. <laughs> uh, can I just mention something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. The, the other casa- c- t- <laughs> catastrophe that is the Borderlands movie. Oh, it's bad? You've seen it? I haven't seen it yet, but oh. it's $90 million in the hole right now. Oh, that's crazy. And they took it out of theaters already. It's already out of theaters? From what I heard. Oh, dang. I kind of wanted to go see it just to see if it was going to be any... any The trailer... Dude, I'm telling you right now, the trailer looked good for that movie. Mm. I didn't like the... I didn't like the people they chose to be the siren, to be fucking Moxie. Yeah. Um, Not Moxie. What's her name? Is it Moxie? The clown shit? Yeah, Mad Moxie. Yeah, Mad Moxie. Yeah. Um, Was that girl supposed to be Tina? With the rabbit ears? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
yeah, from what I heard, it was bad casting all around and shit like that. Oh. Again, you always have to take it with a grain of salt because it's also a lot of fucking Josh's who just want to hate on it to be cool. That's not true. I don't hate on things to be cool. I hate on things to be different. <laughs> no, you hate on things just to make controversy. Yeah, and to be different. But I don't do it to be cool. Nobody mm-hmm. thinks I'm cool for not liking Jujutsu Kaisen. But anyway. Anyways, go ahead. Uh, I was just reading this thing because... What was it? Two weeks after they announced all that shit, uh-huh. they released the trailer for Borderlands 4. Oh. To thunderous applause. Oh, man. And so then was like, wait, was this just a big brain move? Just, just to get people to buy the game? Yeah. They're like, hey, wait a minute, you guys. What if so we spend we, 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 $90 who, who million? Dollars? No, who made this? Paramount? I don't Fox? Know, somebody. Uh, Let me look. Borderlands movie. Movie. It was... Man, it got a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have to see this movie now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, when we go see Deadpool next week, or wait, are we going to go next week? It depends if you can get that Sunday. All right. Let's 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 go and the do... Mad shit? Yeah, let's just do like... Border, let's go see Borderlands and then let's see Deadpool. Let's see them both. Shit before glory? Yeah, basically. But um, what was I going to say? So who made it? Oh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, it's <sighs> mm. it was directed by Eli Roth. I don't care about that. I just want to see who fucking made the movie. Quick facts, man. These this sucks. Mm. Available soon on digital. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard. It's only been out like a couple of weeks. Oh man, uh, blah 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 blah. Mm. Man, no one's saying it was produced, starring so much production companies: Media Capital Technologies, Arid Productions, Picture Set, Gearbox, Two K. Distributed by Lionsgate. So it was actually ma- man. It was made by it was made by Gearbox. Then they they probably anytime a video game company is made, the company the the video game company is also credited. Oh. So here's the thing. So it's probably Lionsgate and um, Media Capital Technologies and A- ARAD Productions. Yeah. So then, what if they Gearbox told them, "Hey, do whatever the fuck you want with this movie, knowing that it will fucking flop." Yeah. Because our money's not involved. You paid us to that's so true. To make it. That's true. And we're gonna take the money you gave us, and we're gonna fucking put it into this video game. Yeah. So when your shit fucking flops. Profit. <laughs> they might even make trailers for Borderlands 4 and be like, guess what? Hated Borderlands movie? You'll love Borderlands 4 because it's not made by those assholes. Like, make <laughs> fun of it. That would be fucking this big brain move. But anyway, back to ODST or Halo in general, I guess. ODST was a fucking interesting experience. It was cool to, it was cool to play in the Halo universe. As not, not a Spartan. Yeah, that was the first time we ever got to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and that cool. did change the dynamic of we didn't the game. Have, we didn't have, like, night vision built in. Nope. We, didn't have all, we didn't have shields. Nope. Three hits and you're dead. Yep, three hits and you're dead. Fighting remember. brutes was actually dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember, did you health regen that or did you get health No, packs? you had to get health packs. Health yeah. packs yeah. You could not fucking regen health. Yeah, like, you had to get health packs because it was those little bars. Yeah. It was like the original Halo health. Yeah. Except with minus a shield. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it was cool as shit to be an ODST trooper. And then that, that ad camp, like, that live action ad campaign for that was also fucking epic. Um, it's hell. It's the fucking screensaver on our fucking stream deck or whatever, yeah. <laughs> uh, like a clip from it. But yeah, that, that, that's how the shit should have been made. That's how that halo show should have been made, but it wasn't. So we all got fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I remember they tried to make a Halo movie and they said the guy had to scrap it and remake it into was it District 9? Yeah, District 9. Which was a good movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. Um, but dude, yeah, firefight mode in uh, ODST was fucking cool as shit. Um, to be able to go with four dudes and just take on wave after wave, I think it was five waves was, it, was what it was. Um, take on five waves and then be extracted. Like, get, was, get it, on the was thing. that extraction? I thought it was fight to survival. No, I think you had to. F- I think that was when they put it in Halo. They because they put firefight in Halo, like proper. Uh. I think Reach had firefight, and I think 
I don't know. I feel like you had to get extracted. Like you had to go to the ship and jump in or whatever. I'm pretty sure that, that was the hell jumper thing. Hell die, everybody. No, I feel like they did this in ODST. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But campaign plot. Okay, where's the? Let me see. Like it's been so long since I've played fucking firefight mode. Because firefight mode is not in Halo Infinite. Like no. they do not have a firefight mode, which kind of sucks. But um, where's firefight, man? Uh, anyways, Halo Three, that that ending ending mission when you're fucking driving uh, the fucking warthog and you got to drive it as the fucking whole thing's exploding and shit. Mm-hmm. That was one of the coolest fucking things ever, man. Especially with co-op. Yeah, when you do it in co-op, because me and you played, because yeah, we did we, we did that whole shit. Co-op. We did the whole thing co-op. We did. It was also the first Halo we beat Legendary. Yeah, that's true. That was the first Halo that we beat on Legendary. Mm. Um, yeah, Halo I had to do it twice, but because we did it, I did it once with um, um, our buddy of ours. Yeah, and then literally we finished it. You and Patton got online, and you were like, "You did this shit without me on Legendary." And we fuck it. We, Let's go. And me yeah. and him ended up doing it twice with you. Yeah, so we, 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 had a, we had a sweet four-player fucking legendary <laughs> online fucking mode playing the campaign, which is pretty fun. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> I kind of want to do that again, like what we did when we did Brian's Going Away Party and mm-hmm. we fucking just played Halo on the fucking uh, uh, the projector. I kind of want to do that, uh, but like set it up in the backyard. Yeah. And like... I kind of want to do that. I think we should do that. Yeah, I'm down. That'd be fucking sweet. So, anyways, uh, and we should play fucking. We should do Halo. We should do. We should play the campaign on Halo on on fucking on that shit. That'd be dope as hell. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> anyways, so uh, yeah, firefight mode was fucking super fun. I don't know. I don't think ODST had other multiplayer other than that, right? It was just firefight. Mm. Um, yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, I thought co-op. It, oh no. Okay, that's what it was. Halo 3's multiplayer was on a separate disc package with yeah. ODST, so it was the same Halo 3 multiplayer. So funny if you if you didn't buy Halo 3 but you bought ODST, you could access the multiplayer of Halo 3, <laughs> and you got to play the campaign of ODST. Well, which was funny. basically, we call it Call of Duty is now. Yeah, that's true. It's a separate standalone thing. It's multiplayer. It's like right now because you know how it's. F- it's like a thousand gigs, whatever, to download the new Modern yeah. Warfare game. Yeah, yeah. Well, the only reason it's that much is because it's including all the other games. It's everything. It's everything, and so the multiplayer is across everything. Right. It's just so one single. Download. Right now, you're, people can play the call, the new Call of Duty multiplayer. Yeah. Because it's already it's already of, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, kind of. They kind just, of. It's like they didn't unlock everything. It's gonna yeah. be the same shit, but just the maps and the guns are probably yeah. what's not <laughs> unlocked yet. Uh, which Sorry. what's funny is. <laughs> Yeah, Call of Duty, oh, man. We need a whole Can I bring up something, though? Yeah, go ahead. He's not mad about it. I'm kind of salty about it. What? In the new Call of Duty game, uh-huh. for, a new, for the new expansion or holiday thing, you know how they do fucking oh, yeah, yeah. battle pass seasons right, and shit? Yeah, yeah. They had you know, new guns. Mm-hmm. They didn't call it that. But if you look at it, it is straight up. It is almost a carbon copy. Is the AK-50? Yeah. Which is what Brandon Herrera has spent the last five years of his life building. Yeah. And recently, he came out with the finished product. And then the next right. week after that, it's in the Call of Duty game. Hmm. Without his knowledge or approval or anything like that. You know what I would do. I'd call up fucking, what, who is it? Infinity? Well, it's not uh, Infinity. Uh, Treyarch? Tre- no, Treyarch does the Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward's the smart mm-hmm. ones. I'd call them up and be like, hey, listen. Look, guys, I don't give a shit that you use this. However. Give me some fucking credit. No, no. I'd be like, could you guys put me in the game as a skin on multiplayer? They can't because of all the shit that happened with Tim Tam and all those fucking Twitch streamers and shit. What happened with them? Hey, I'm a little boy. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not all of them, but it's just that um, it makes no fucking sense to me. But uh, the best way I can describe it is Affinity Ward and Act- Activision. Yeah. 
is blue. Oh. Yeah, but Cody it, Rhodes and fucking Rhea Ripley are, are characters in, in the multiplayer now. And? So what's the difference? The WWE is not a blue company. It is now. No, it's not. It's, it's the same part of the same thing with UFC, which is very red. <laughs> okay, but there. <clears throat> um, does any did Cody Rhodes or Rhea Ripley openly counter Biden, the Biden administration? Mm, well, Cody Rhodes is a shitty wrestler, so I mean that's pretty that, bad. That the, was that the question I asked? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> kind of, did they? I don't. I don't. I have no idea. Did either one know. of them actively campaign <clears throat> to become a Republican? Um, Alderman, whatever the fuck he was running so for. So you're telling me that Infinity Ward, the game that makes fucking uh, modern combat games... Did not want to have the political blowback of having a gun tuber on there. Would not want that to. That does not play. make... You're right. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> but anyway, going to my point. Yeah, yeah, okay. In the game, they call it a 50K conversion of an RPK. Okay. So it's not a sniper rifle. It's a machine gun. No, it's a sniper rifle. But then it's not... No, but just think about the words that he just said. Okay. A conversion kit for arcade RP, for RPK, RPK to shoot fifty caliber. So basically, it's like an M2 machine gun. It's the it's the shitty Russian version of the M2 Browning, uh, the Modus. Uh, it might but, have been the SVD, but it's only it might have been, oh, been SVD. Okay. Either way, what is wrong with the idea of converting one of those guns to a fifty cal? Uh, let's see. Call of D is getting <laughs> Cod is getting a Walmart AK-50 <laughs> off a of wish. Yeah. Okay, AK-50 Call of D. Oh yeah. What's so? What's the problem with that? What do those guns shoot? Seven six two. Oh yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a completely different fucking system. Yeah. So again, again, I get it. They're fucking idiots. They don't know those shit about guns. Yeah. I mean, they put fucking red dot size and shit on fucking World War II guns in World War II. Yeah, that is true. That is the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. But uh, he's like, he said he would have fucking allowed that shit if they would have asked him. Yeah. He would have been like, I wouldn't even ask for money. He was like, that shit's cool. <laughs> but I, he says he doesn't think it was a ripoff. He thinks that they... Um, We're paying homage? No, homage. Like, he thinks it was just like... They probably had files on it because, you know, they probably just look up on the internet, cool gun design oh, and shit. Oh, yeah. And they probably just looked at it and said, you know what? This is cool. We'll do this. Yeah. It's not like you can copyright an image, right? I mean. Kind of, right? Kind of. You can. Okay. It's called the JAK Cataclysm. <laughs> Command the battlefield with this 50 caliber conversion kit for the RPK. Slow yet powerful with a high capacity drum mag. This kit is your enemy's nightmare. That's what it says. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's a season five. Is your fifteen round drum magazine while prohibiting modifications of the barrel. Blah blah blah. That's What's it. What's funny yeah. in the video um, where Brandon Herr? Uh huh. He ends the video with sh- him showing him using it in in real life in Call of Duty. Oh yeah. And he's like, okay, this gun fucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um. Anyways, all right. So, bottom line, Halo 3. What do you give Halo 3 out of 10? 11. 11. Yep. Ruben? Probably the same or same or 10. 11. Yeah. I, I also give it an 11. Uh, Halo 3 ODST. Okay. So, I, even though I gush about how much I love playing as an ODST as a non-Spartan, as a single-player game, it got old fast. <laughs> The concept, yeah. As a multiplayer, as a co-op game, it was tight because you were focusing on tactics and yeah. But as a single player, off the bat, he had ten. Yeah, yeah. But actually, once you get playing it with single player, six and a half out of ten. Yeah. Co-op, I'll give a solid nine. Yeah, yeah. I agree with those scores. Ruben, did you yeah, even play ODST? Yeah, did you play ODST? Yeah, I got, I got it for an anniversary, an anniversary as well. Oh, that's right, because it's a downloadable uh, yeah. <laughs> thing you can get with it. Yeah, because I have that too on, on my anniversary. <laughs> that was asked. back when you had to pay for it. Nobody asked, Josh. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> Anyways. All right. You guys got anything else for Halo? Three? 
Fingers? Good. Ruben? Uh, Why don't you just flip me off like he did? Go ahead. Go ahead. Fine. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Hey, uh, fuck it. I'm not, don't worry. I won't send this episode to your mom with just this clip singled out. Hey, you think she listens. <laughs> That's why I said I had to send it to her. <laughs> Anyways. She thinks she'll listen. That's true. She'll be like, hey, fuck you, Josh. Like, what did you do to deserve it? That's what she would ask me. Anyways. All right. Well, go to GameRageMagazine.com. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine, Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag, YouTube, 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 Game Rage Magazine. Go listen to the Anime Syndicate podcast, the Anime underscore Syndicate underscore podcast on Instagram. You can also listen to All Gas No Trash, the music podcast, and you can go listen to at All Gas No Trash official on Instagram. And uh, stay tuned for obviously the relaunch, the soon to be relaunch 2.0 of the Anime Syndicate. And also stay tuned for a very special 9 11 episode of all gas no trash coming up soon and uh you'll have to just tune in that's the tease you'll just have to tune in to find out what that's all about anyways all right i'm out of here fucking we're we're out of here catch you guys on the next one oh shit i gotta turn this back up all right we'll catch you guys on the next one Congratulations, you survived another episode of the Team Killing Glitch Tards. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine. Also, subscribe on Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag.